to make firm establish. So my guess and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Vivian Fox. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met me before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their past, create their future, and transform their present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now. I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, angel cards, meditation, hypnosis, to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation or angel card reading, with the wisdom of my wonderful guest, like today's guest, Vivian Fox, will be sharing her story of how she has taken the step to go from balance sheets to the balance procedure. Now, Vivian is a 50-year-old mother of two teenagers, as well as a business owner. She is a balance procedure practitioner and is passionate about teaching people how to create balance within their everyday lives so they can move forward to having stress-free, happy lives. Now, Vivian has come from a background in accountancy, where she's been running her own successful company, The Financial Fox, where she's helped support people in their business to empower them to take charge of their financial figures with a program that developed their confidence over a period of time so that they were not overwhelmed at the beginning. She took the mystery out of it, explained what figures meant so they were then ready to understand the figures on a timely basis and could make financially sound judgments based on these. They're in charge of their figures instead of the figures being in charge of them. Now Vivian has taken the step to change her destiny and she realized she loves everything relating to energy and how it affects our emotions in every way and loves the sharing experiences and knowledge with others. And she now gives talks on the subject. So without further delay, hello Vivian and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? I'm absolutely fabulous, Ray, and thank you for having me. Brilliant. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Vivian and I want to be part of this conversation. So please don't be shy. We'll try and say hello to everyone who says hello or answer any questions once the show is finished. So Vivian, why don't you tell us more about yourself and why you've gone from balance sheets to balance procedure? Well, it's been a long journey. I probably spent about 20 odd years doing uh, accountancy and I didn't know any other lives than working in accountancy. And over those years, I've helped lots of clients in um, practices that I worked for. Uh, I then went into working within industry and I helped those companies as well. And then about four years ago, Due to a change in the economy, the world economy actually, and um, I found that uh, my my the com- sorry the company I worked for were suddenly finding that uh, other companies in other parts of the world could produce their products cheaper than what they could, that they had to pull back on the amount of people they employed, and so at that point my position was made redundant, and. It was like, oh, I'm redundant. What am I going to do? Mm. Am I going to rush out and go and get another job? Or am I actually going to decide to set up my own business? Now, at that point, my background was accountancy. So I thought, oh, I know if I'll go and do bookkeeping and accounts for people uh, because that was what I knew. But in the last four or five years, I've just met lots of wonderful people and I've worked I've met a lot of people who work with energy and the more people I've met the more I've got involved in it hi Jane lovely to see you joining us thank you and it's been an incredible experience in a short amount of time the amount of people who you attract People that, um, how do how, I'm trying to put the words right. Resonate with you. You attract people who um, have interests the same as you. Mm. Uh, like-minded people. 
and literally through networking that is how I put not put together but people who come to me who have been doing different areas of energy work and I've just been absolutely fascinated about it and so that's how I've developed what I now want to do but I still help people with their businesses because back when I started out I wasn't in a position where I had to make money Mm. I was in a position where it was a case of yes I can take clients on but I can choose what I spend the money on it wasn't the case of I've got to earn that money Mm. and so I could choose that I'd take this course or that course or the other course because it interested me or I was persuaded to do it and when you start out in business you don't necessarily have a great plan yeah and I think from hindsight it's something that you really need to consider what is it you want to get out of your business because you can say yes I want to earn x amount of money be it five thousand or fifty thousand hi Lorraine thank you for joining us and if you're saying five thousand that may well be doable but if you're saying fifty thousand have you got a plan do you know how you're going to get there and are the people around you supporting you or are, are they actually there to get what they can from you and Also, you may think something's a good idea at the time, but are you actually going to implement what you're going to learn from that course? Because that's what I've found in my journey as a business owner, is that I was full of enthusiasm for all these courses, but I hadn't got the mindset to then actually carry it through. Mm. And that has been partly my downfall and that is where I've had some help with um, therapists working with me so that I can then gain that confidence to be out there and tonight speaking live on here is another step forward hey really, really excited to be doing it so I've made lots of little steps while somebody else might make those steps in two months. I'm still making them after five years. It's a slow, for me, it's been a slow burn. Other people could be, you know, two months later going, whoa, yes, I'm <laughs> doing that. But everyone's different. Mm. It's also recognising that you have, what your limitations are, because a lot of the time you go through life, you don't even know you've got those limitations. And how many times do you spend in your life going, oh, but why can they do it? Why can't I do it? Why haven't I succeeded? And then you realise that it's actually all down to you and it's your attitude and learn how to change your attitude so that you can actually move forward. Now, it doesn't mean that you can do it all yourself. You may need someone to work with you to help you get over those fears that you have in order to get yourself out there or to develop your business and how you want to do that. And as I say, I've worked with different people in various techniques and that has now brought me forward. And I've, I've learned energy techniques, I've learned um, emotional freedom technique, I've had a person working with me in rapid transformation techniques, um, there's many techniques out there, and sometimes that can be a minefield in itself. But it's finding the right one that works with you. Mm. So it, it doesn't mean that you start with one therapist and think, well, I'm here for the long haul. This is going to take me years to get over. Because then you could do something else with somebody else and find that, wow, that works in, you know, one session could change a lot. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Sometimes it's one session. Sometimes it's 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 many it's many sessions. It really does depend on 
on the individual and 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 how and how they do it. So, so have you, are you giving up the um, the accountancy side full and helping people in the businesses? Um, full stop and going, okay, that's part of my life, that's now finished, and I'm going to concentrate on the um, on the energy side, or are you still going to be combining them both and, and both, and do you think they work both, they work, work well together? I'm not going to be doing any accounting or bookkeeping. That is a decision that has been made over probably since Christmas, mm. but I'm still going to provide workshops for people to talk about their business. Um, to help them develop their business plans and also to actually look at their business in great detail because a lot of people will go into business and they'll not have a clue at how much time they're spending in their business, what the different jobs that they have to do in that business and also what their expertise is and whether they should actually outsource things. And so I, I help people to actually look at all these things and I have a lovely worksheet that I can get people to do where they look at the number of hours they spend in their business and then work out how much they're actually earning so you actually get a true picture of what your hourly rate is this is generally for those people who are working one-to-one -one with people rather yeah. than in an online business but yeah if you're interested in the worksheet then I can provide the link for that afterwards yeah no that that would be great that that would be that would be I'm sure that would help a lot of people because a lot because I mean, a lot of people, especially therapists, um, you know, we are really bad at the business side of things. <laughs> yeah, my, my my gypsy's gone into hiding. She's a black cat as well. Um, but yeah, a lot of therapists um, do find it hard to concentrate on the business side of stuff. Um, so any help, and I suppose also it's kind of like energy wise as well. Um, when you're looking at the businesses um, it's and the people um, that are coming to you looking at the business, it's energy with them as well and how their energy is flowing. Indeed. Because I, I, I find that at times, if, you, if you're depending on who you work with, do you find that you're actually drained or actually energised by the time, time you finish working with them? Mm. Sorry, I'm just going to see if I can remove Poppy from the. <laughs> yeah. See, she she wants that she wants to be on wants to be on camera. Oh yes, she's well known for that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Poppy. Yes, you're very welcome. <laughs> uh, she see she wants to add add her energy to the show. So. Yeah, so she's that... a very very energy feeling cats <laughs> gorgeous. so so what is the balance procedure well it is basically well i say basically it's an incredible thing that uses a set of cards that have um, different areas of life uh, there's communication there's knowledge there's spiritual side of things and you use this pack of cards and it balance you use them to balance your energy okay and i can can show you i don't know if this shows very well on camera yeah uh this was the one that i was balancing on before i came to uh came on life because mm -hmm. it's about communication <laughs> yeah um but it looks at using lots of in uh sorry lots of different aspects so it'll be looking it uses putting together planets and your star sign and numbers and it looks at physical areas of your body and so there's lots and lots of different areas it looks in it's got signs symbols colors um so lots of different aspects are brought together on each of these cards and it means that you're balancing your energy precisely at that moment so rather than having to think about the past and how that's affecting you you're just saying what is my energy now mm. and you balance on all areas of those <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm just going to try to remove poppy again <laughs> um so you can balance on area all of the areas of your life and 
it's amazing how it changes your energy because you're just suddenly in flow and you're confident and you're positive about things. So say you have been in a meeting which has gone really badly and you come out absolutely drained and going, oh God, I don't want to go through that again. How am I going to lift myself up? You can just actually just take the cards and say, right, OK, I'm going to balance my energy now. And you balance it. And then within a few minutes, you're like, oh, I feel so much better. And it's just a wonderful, easy tool that Jenny Cox has developed. And it is something that people can easily learn. And so that's why I'm passionate about it, because it is... Um, such a straightforward tool and makes such a huge difference and yeah. I do it every day and even several times during the day because I, I still get triggered by things mm -hmm. and what I've found through the help that I've had with ther various therapists is that I'm actually aware of the triggers so rather than um, say I interact with someone and it it triggers some negativity in me and then I instead of letting that bring staying down because I've been triggered by a negative I then look at right okay why have I been triggered so I'm not blaming the other person I'm going what is it me that's been triggered and how am I going to pull myself out of that and I'll balance on it and clear it mm. and realize that I am in still in a certain pattern of reacting to a person in a certain way and therefore it's breaking that cycle break that pattern change it and then life gets better because yeah. all the time you respond to something in the same way that other person continues to do the same thing but then when you change how you respond they change their behavior yeah not necessarily positively because they'll still be looking for that same reaction from you. So they could even try harder to push your buttons. But it's for you to be aware of that and not react. And mm -hmm. then you think, oh, actually, I've moved forward now. And you realise what they're doing to you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm guessing they're um, uh, in the uh, immediate uh, weeks that are going to be coming up, that there, um, there's going to be lots of triggers um, going on between people, um, you know, the people are going to need more than ever um, therapists, really, of, of all of all different modalities to help see them through what you know all the changes that are going on at the moment in in the world. Um, you know, not just in business, but personally and privately as well. Yes, because suddenly people are having to spend a lot more time with each other in the family environment or home environment and they're not used to it. So, you know, they say that um, uh, divorce solicitors are very busy in January because so many people are filing for divorce after Christmas because they were enforced to spend time with each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, 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 going to be, it's going to be very in, interesting times. But as I said, you know, um, th this is really where therapists can really um, come in into their fore, into the, you know, in, into the front because we will be able to help people um, in these situations and the issues so they don't explode and get to that point where, oh, my God, we need a divorce. Or, my <laughs> God, I need to send the kids back to school now. Yes, definitely. And there are, as you say, so many different therapists out there who all want to help those people that are potentially suffering through this change in circumstances. But it's not just about those people who are now having to spend time with people they wouldn't normally spend so much time with. It's also the people that are extremely fearful of it. And there's plenty of those out there. And it's help, you know, finding, helping them to calm their fears. Mm. Because um, some people live in a bubble and go, well, it's not going to happen to me and don't actually consider circumstances of, is it going to affect someone else? Yeah. And it's, um, it is a difficult situation and it's 
it's moving on a daily basis. Yeah, um, and we've and Sharon um, Lynn has said um, TBP massively assisted me years ago with another friend before um, she knew Vivian, and it was all done remotely. So even in these trying times, you could still have a session with Vivian. Her, um, Lynn says my finances shifted in under a week, so go for it if you're drawn. Thank you very much, Sharon. Much appreciated. <laughs> And, and, and it is, we can all now start working online. Um, well, obviously, yeah. obviously, if you're a massage therapist or a nail technician, that might be a little bit more difficult. Um, but those that um, can do it, you know, this is, in, this is going to be a new way of working, um, uh, you, you know, by, by working online. And, of course, you then got to, obviously, the thing that I think therapists will, will have an issue with, which is where, um, obviously, if you've got a financial background, it might be easier, is do I charge the same if I'm doing it online? Do I charge less? Do I do it free? You know, that's going to be a thing that's going to be going around a lot of people's, a lot of therapists' heads at the moment. You know, if I'm going online to do this, do I charge, you know, what do I charge or not charge? Well, that is an interesting thing. You just mentioned the word free. And this was actually a conversation that came up earlier because I've noticed on Facebook the various th therapists are offering things for free. Mm. Um, and so my consideration of that was, okay, if you're offering it for free, what, what is your financial position to be able to do that? Are you in a comfortable financial position that you can offer it for free? Or are you just feeling, I'm just feeling really generous because I'm so concerned about everybody that I, I will offer it for free anyway, despite whether I can afford to or not. And also then how, when you are making this offer of free, are you judging how many people are going to take you up on it? Are you limiting that freebie? Are you saying, right, okay, I will give 10 sessions over five weeks, for example? Or have you just said, I will give you a session for free, and then you're inundated because you could suddenly have hundreds of people saying, yeah, thank you very much, I'll have a free session. And mm -hmm. suddenly you'll be like, oh, my gosh, what's happened? I can't do this, I can't cope with this. And then you'll be in major stress and meltdown because we're not thinking about the consequences of what you've offered. And also, are you thinking if you offer something free, are you then bringing into that session how you might be? <laughs> 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 yes, Poppy's here again. At least she sat down now, so she's out of camera shot. <laughs> exactly. Um Sorry, I've lost my thread there now. Um, that, that's okay. We were sort of like, um, if you know, if you're sunny and dated with lots of free, um, you, uh, you um, offer it free and you're yeah. sunny and dated with all these people. Yeah, I was just saying, if um, you're giving a free session, are you looking to do it as a, um, uh, getting a sales pitch in, if you like? Like, you've had a free session, wasn't it? Didn't you think it was wonderful? Would you like to now um, book in future sessions with me at a reduced cost, for example? Um, but, you know, it, it's difficult. It's people's own judgment. But my concern is that people offering free haven't necessarily thought it through mm. and really do need to consider how many sessions they are offering. And also... Consider why are you offering something free? Because are you making the assumption that nobody has money? Because mm. do you want to be giving your sessions free to someone who's a millionaire who says, oh, great, they're giving me a free session? Yeah. Are, are you looking at person's financial background? Are you, you know, what, what was the point of a free session? Yeah, you know, there's all, all these issues that I'm wondering if um, therapists have actually thought about. Yeah, yeah, because I, um, I remember some um, uh, someone once um, say, um, said to me they um, did um, 
uh, sort of like a, a charity thing where they were doing the, the where they were reading tarot cards, and it was a donation based um, thing. So you know you could put in whatever you if you wanted to pay you know pay something, and what she said the people that really needed it that didn't have the money were the ones who were putting in. The people that didn't really need it or had the money were the ones that were putting less in or putting nothing in. And, uh, and I think it is an assumption we, we, as humans, we tend to have, we think, oh, well, if there, um, some, you know, if, if someone um, looks like they're needy or something, um, they're not going to be able to pay us. And that, whereas it's like they actually want to pay, they want to give something back because they want to do that exchange of energy with you. Um, Whereas, you know, somebody who, you know, can afford everything kind of like goes, well, I've got this free. Why should I give anything back? Mm. And it's a difficult one to judge. And it, you, you don't know someone else's financial circumstances. So, no. So for no. me, I think someone should think carefully of all the ramifications of offering something for free. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Sharon um, here has said, uh, my thoughts are if you spend an hour, ask the client to pay what um pay you what an hour of their time is if they're earning 30 pounds per hour they pay you 30 pounds or in the current situation if people are really struggling then maybe donate what you can afford right now you know that that's that's uh, um sharon's uh, thoughts on on that one you know with which again is is quite it's quite you know it's it's quite a valid thing you know you cannot you you know if, if you think oh my god in this time i don't want to ask people for an exact amount then ask for donation yeah, and also suggest this is what I normally charge, mm. so that they're aware of it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, ab ab absolutely. You know, and, and, and I think it always isn't it, a thing. Again, it's that energy exchange, isn't it? Where we're talking, we're talking about energy. You give something to receive something, or you receive something to give something, and it's nice when that energy just flows um, through through people. Um, you know, you could even do it for some toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> yeah, I've run out of toilet roll. If anyone can give me this particular brand of toilet roll, um, you can have a session free. <laughs> yeah, at least it has to be an 18 pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or this particular brand. No other brand will do. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, that which 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 I which I which I think is uh, is 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 so funny. But then you got to laugh. You got to laugh at, at, at things like this because we need to raise the energy up. Um, and yes. and you know and and obviously with the balance around procedure that is kind of like balancing balancing the energy up. And do you think that um, I mean, do you have you have you actually used the balance procedure when you've been working with um? clients to help them in their business do you use that at all with it or is it something you you have to completely separate um i i want to use the balance procedure in a business manner because the way i look at it is um is also looking at the balance in your life so, you know, you get the balance wheel that's looking at all areas of your life. And it's like saying, right, okay, let's see if your what life is in balance. And then using the balance cards to balance the areas of your life if you're out of balance. Mm. And obviously business comes into that because if your uh, business is one area of your life, but are you currently doing an employed position you're also running a business you're trying to keep a family going running the home trying to have a social life see your friends develop your business etc things can easily get out of balance and you find that your, ba uh, your balance your business <laughs> is not taking um are you spending too much time on it or so little, too little time on it? Mm. 
And so, yes, the idea is to use the balance cards to bring balance into the different areas of your life, including your business, so mm -hmm. that you have all round balance in your life. Excellent. It's too easy to get... Um, it's like, for example, you love your business and you go, yep, I give my business 10 out of 10. And then you go, right, but how's your relationship? Uh, three. And you're like, okay, so where's the balance? What's what's happening? Is it you've put all your time in your business and you're not spending time with your partner and they're getting fed up and you're going, oh, yeah, but, but, yeah, I'll make this work, I'll make this work, and then I've got time for you. But... You know, they've got fed up already. So that's what I love about how this balance procedure just makes you see it is easy to balance, you know. Yeah, yeah, that, that's pretty good. And we've had a couple more comments with um, obviously what we were just talking about. And Liz has said, if a plumber came round as you had a leak, they would charge you the same price as before the current climate. When you're offering something to do with healing and the person is sick, it can be far more challenging to charge. It can appear to that you are profiteering, to, profiteering from their misfortune, which I think is sometimes what goes through um, therapist's mind if someone is, is ill. And Sharon says, good to let people know your worth. I always tell people these days my consultancy rate is £90 per hour. But that's not always what I end up charging if my client can't, really can't afford it. What happens if they do really value my time and expertise, which which makes absolute sense um, to that. Also, what I always find, I let's rephrase that. I was going to say what I always find interesting. It's the person's judgment of value of something. So, for example, does someone have the latest mobile phone at the dearest contract? where they've got unlimited minutes, unlimited um, mobile data, and they're paying, I don't know, £60 a month, for example. And then they're also happy to go on holidays and have their flash car. And then they go, yeah, but I can't afford to pay for a therapist. Mm. You know, and it's like, well, it's a judgment, isn't it? It or is. Are they judged important? If they're not judging their mental health, for example, because they're not willing to pay a therapist £100 an hour, but they're okay to go on their holiday that cost them 3000 you know, are their judgments a bit awry? Yeah. And they haven't thought that their mental health is more important. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I, and, I, and I think that balance of, um, is, is, is kind of like going to change um, now, slightly with with what's going on, people are going to be reevaluating their lives. You know, who can go out and get their eyebrows, their nails done at the moment? Who can have their hair done um, at the moment? Uh, you know, I'm going to keep having little bits of hair sticking up because I can't go to my hairdresser to have my hair trimmed. So I'm going, I'm going to look like a uh, porcupine at some point, and my grey is going to show through. Not that I've got a lot of grey, but the little bits, they're not going to be cow anymore. I, I gave up dyeing my hair a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never oh, dyed my not. I've never dyed my hair, so um, so, <laughs> so I'm quite lucky on that. But yeah, there'll be lots of people with their own um, roots starting to show. Maybe people go back to natural, their natural Oh yeah, hair. that's good. Yeah. Hello, Poppy. Oh, you're looking straight at the screen at us now. Oh. Well, maybe she's maybe she's realised that I'm now about to say Vivian. Um, as you know, I um, do angel cards and meditation, so I always like to ask my guests um, whether they would like me to pull an angel card for them and those watching, or whether they would like me to do a guided meditation. So, what would you like me to do? Right. So, sorry. Could you say just say that slightly again? Yeah. Angel? So I can either pull you an angel card, you and uh -huh. everyone watching, or I can do a guided meditation. And this says her grace is already showing. <laughs> You've got blondish hair. It won't notice as much as mine. <laughs> um, I haven't had anyone pull a card for me for quite a while, so I'd appreciate a card. We can, we can definitely, definitely, definitely do um, 
to 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 an angel card and before we do that uh sharon says (laughs) if you see my white hair (laughs) card please okay (laughs) So, so I'll put a card for Vivian and everyone who's watching. So as usual, I cleanse and bless my cards. And as you know, although I do past life regression and future life progression, everything I do is, is for the present. So when we work with the past life, it's to clear the past life so we can be in the present. And when we go to the future, it's so we can um, know where our future is going to be so that we're not worried about it and we can be in the present. So the cards are for what you need to know for your highest good at this moment in time not what's going to happen in the future. So what does Vivian and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Vivian and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good at this moment in time? What does Vivian watch this? Okay. Which comes in quite nicely with everyone self-isolating at the moment. Taking shelter, the answers are within. <laughs> so it, it it is you need to um you need to go within and ask and go for inner guidance and see where you're guiding to be to go not looking at outside and other people to try and guide you where you're supposed to go it's kind of like okay what do i need to know what do i need to know now spend some time with myself and that which you know which you know ideal card really for for, for the fact that it's come out for for what's happening at the moment and that so so yes so vivian the answers are within yourself (laughs) yeah i do i do try and listen to myself listen to my inner guidance and i do meditate and go um visiting different places in my meditations and get guidance yeah yeah and then i did did actually feel an energy shift earlier today and uh i said to liz i said uh i felt an energy shift i said and then i did everything i could to um damp it down and she said why i'm going um I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I've got to look in myself. What is it that I'm I'm blocking? I know I'm blocking something. Yeah. 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 As, as I said, little steps. <laughs> yeah. But then little, little steps are um, lead to longer term things. Then big steps that lead to something quick, but then sort of, that sort of like, are, um, are, you know, disappears. Now, I've read a cut. Can you, because um, obviously you use the balance cards, can, uh-huh. you, can you sort of like pull a card for everyone here to see maybe what might be out of balance? Putting you on the um, spot here. They work on the individual person. Mm-hmm. So I can't pull, a, as you say, pull a card for somebody else because each person has their set of cards that they tune into themselves and balance with. Mm-hmm. But what I can do is read, if I pick um, a card at the moment. So mm. if we say about, I was saying earlier about communication. Yes. If I read what the communication is um, involves, mm. it may well... Um, Ring through, ring through to people, and they'll think, "Oh, yeah, that makes sense." I'm cool. hoping that um, Jenny is the person who Jenny Cox is the person who developed this, and I hope that it's okay that I can read from her book. <laughs> oh well. Trouble. Well, 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 you are kind of like giving her notice, you know. This is her. Um, if I give a brief. Um, Thing. So, so this card. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Yep. The art of communication. Now, we're using. We have the uh, downward turquoise triangle and the red star, and that's symbolising the art of communication. It liberates us to communicate our inspired ideas into reality 
creating and expanding our future. So straight away, it's saying you, you can expand your future using this card. Yeah. And what I do love about this card is it's working on the throat chakra, obviously, because it's about communication and speaking. And if I give you a little aside, um, about two weeks ago, I had um, a talk lined up that I was really excited to be doing. Um, I was doing a totally new talk. It uh, wasn't about finance at all. It was just about energy and the balance procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was moving away from what I'm used to doing. And the whole day I spent being ill. I tell you, my... my my ego got so in the way and I decided I got so um, wound up about doing this talk because I put like so much importance on it that my ego was freaking out and I just spent the day I was feeling sick, I, my throat was sore, I was coughing, uh, I couldn't eat, I had so many different things come up during the day and I actually reached a stage where I thought am I actually really ill but all I kept doing was kept balancing with this card mm. because I knew that it was just my fear yeah and you know someone had said to me four years ago well you're just fearful and you've created all this illness <laughs> I'd be like what do you want about I've created this illness of course I haven't but because I'm so much more aware now, I realised yeah. that that is exactly what I've done. Ah. But even though I knew it, I had to spend the day constantly clearing. Because every time I cleared something, I brought something else. Bye, Sharon. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, thank you, Sharon. I just kept um, bringing up another illness or another symptom. And so I was constantly having to balance all day and use different techniques that I could use. And in the end, um, Liz gave me some Reiki uh, just before I left. And then I got in the car and I was absolutely fine. <laughs> there you go, you see. And I was like, I've been through all this pain and trauma today. But it's just amazing what you're ego will do yeah. to stop you doing something because you're fearful yeah yeah um, and release it yourself yeah yeah that, that, that's brilliant thank you thank you for sharing thank you for sharing that with us so i hope everyone that you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom vivian has given you will help you further on your journey um so vivian do you have any um do you have a last thought um, or inspiration or guidance to leave our viewers? I'd say you are the creator of your own destiny. Excellent. Yeah, most 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 certainly we are definitely the creator of our own destiny. So thank you, so thank you very much for reminding RMS of that. So if Vivian, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Do you have um a website, um, email, Facebook? Uh, my email is vivian at thefinancialfox.com. And that's B-I-V-I-E-N. Mm -hmm. I have a Facebook page, which is a financial fox. And I have uh, my own personal Facebook page, Vivian Fox. You can connect with me there. Uh, on that, I post my weird and wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> you need and wonderful. <laughs> um, on my business page, I try and keep it a little less woo-woo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A, bit, a nice balance. Too, too, too bad, you know, a balance of business and spirituality. Mm. I, do, uh, I do have a website, which is uh, financialfox.com, if you want to have a look at that as well. Yeah. I do love that title, The Financial Fox. It, it sounds really cool and sexy, The Financial Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's so, it's so brilliant. It's so, so brilliant. 
So um, thank you, Vivian, and thank you, everyone, so much for watching. Um, and I would like to invite you to share this video, as I'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you. And if you have reached that crossroads in your life and need help finding your destiny and get clear on your path, then I would love to be that guide for you. Reach out and connect with me so we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute session via Skype or Messenger so we can work out how I can help you on your journey. And now tomorrow, the 24th of March, which is the new moon, um, my membership site called Angel Wings is open for you to join so that I can help you spread your wings and soar. So please do check that out. I'll post the link um, for. And my September retreat in down in Glastonbury, which should be taking place by then, um, is, is, um, uh, is full. So I am going to be running another um, four-day, three-night uh, retreat um, down in Glastonbury in October. So please uh, if you're interested in joining, uh, please do contact me for more details. And next week, I look forward to you joining me where my guest will be um, Raphael Ray, who is coming back for a second time. So I'll be interested to see what wisdom and insights he has got to give with us. So again, thank you everyone so much for watching and your comments. It's been absolutely brilliant that you've joined in the show. And thank you, Vivian, so much for um, agreeing to come on my show. It's been absolutely brilliant having you here and you've done absolutely brilliantly. <laughs> thank you thanks so much for having me you're welcome and everyone i will see you next week have, take care um and have a good rest of the evening and rest of the week bye